How's it going guys? Andrew here from Lone Rider. I am a industrial designer and I make videos about product development and stuff like that. The thing is I ask you guys what you want and you give me information and we make the product better. So I design it, I show you guys, you show, you see what you think, what you want, what you don't want, what you think is good, what you think is bad and uh, then we update the design around that. At the moment, it's uh, mostly about luggage for motorcycles, luggage range and stuff like this. Um, but we also do, uh, we're going to do everything from protection, motorcycle protection, electronics, and lots of other product. It doesn't really matter what it is, we'll de design it uh, and manufacture it. We all ma manufacture the stuff as well. I don't go too much into the manufacture stuff at the moment because we're, we're so full on into product development. But um, if that's what you want to see, about how we manufacture, manufacturing processes, because uh, it's quite detailed, there's a lot to think about. So all those ideas that you guys have been giving me, I have built back into the product uh, and got samples made, and today I am going to show you what the final result is. These are final prototypes, it's done. We have integrated those ideas in there and uh, manufacturing now. The good thing with that is we are opening up pre-sale this week, end of the week, uh, for Black Friday as well, it just coincides quite well. Um, so we are going to start shipping in a month or two. It's pre-sale, so it's on it's on the production line now. Uh, and uh, once we do the quality control, we'll ship it out to you perfectly before the season or the nor Northern Hemisphere season starts. Uh, and yeah, I'll, let's let's jump into my computer and I'll show you what we've done. I do have some of the products here, but most of the products that I have designed uh, out on bikes, getting um, getting photographed and stuff like this, getting sent all around the world. So let's just jump in. I've got most my, most of it on my computer anyway. So here we go. This is the amount we're doing. We did 14 products, quite a few. The only thing that we're not giving or sending out or pre-saling this, this Friday for Black Friday 2020 is the roll top number 10, roll top 30 litre and roll top 50 litre. It's because I'm still waiting on colour samples a couple of weeks ago. If you remember, we did a video and uh, I asked you guys what you wanted for colors because black was just black. We want uh, to ask you what other colors you wanted and you voted on green and gray. So I ordered those colors. Uh, I got the Pantone book and I looked up the Pantone colors, sent it to the factory. The factory is going to send me back um, the color swatches. And I'm going to approve them. Once they're approved, then we're going to push the button and manufacture them. But that will come in in a month or two. Um, not far behind, but they we won't be launching them now. There's no point in launching them now. So here we go. Uh, I won't go. You don't have to read. You can screen, You can stop the video and look at this if you want. But we're going to go through the one by way one anyway. Pannier pack. This sits on top of a pannier. This is an old prototype, the one that's on in the photo there. But that's where that's the location. It sits on top of a metal pannier, uh, or it fits on the motor bags as well. The spacing between the cam buckles. See, there's no cam buckles in this, but there's cam buckles in the final product. The cam buckles are two twenty mils part which is 122 uh, centimeters in inches sorry Americans I don't know uh, I'll do some code it's on the product I'll put it on the product page for sure um, and it's connected with four there's actually five here but there's actually four uh, G hooks that uh, latch basically onto anything this doesn't only go on the middle pan just on top of them it can go anywhere uh, basically anywhere on the bike it's quite a versatile and that's what's really cool about it um, and you can take them up quite fast as well, and it's very secure. Um, these cam buckles, you tie down timber on top of your roof when you're coming back from the hardware shop. So I'm sure that the small light bag will stay on. I'm pretty certain that it will if it's done properly. It's got a center divider that's padded and has a pocket, so it can, you can stop your stuff inside moving around and getting bruised, your food getting bruised, all your electronics getting thrown around. It's got two pockets inside, and it's 100% waterproof, made from high quality Hyperlin, uh, very durable stuff and 100% uh, waterproof. Inside is uh, TPU um, red, so you can actually see what you're doing inside there. The bottom is non slip and uh, reinforced, and you can't see. On top is a molding system, so you can actually put something else on top of that. And on the back, you don't see it here, but there's actually a pocket outside, exterior pocket, that uh, you can put extra um, G hooks in. G hooks are the cables. The, the G hooks down here, the actual straps. You can put extra spare ones in there. If you have them, 
So that's that first one. Tail pack is the second one, um, as you see here on the back of the pannier pack. On the back of the back of the pannier pack, you see this system here. So you can put extra stuff in there. There's on this is the tail pack. On both sides, you'll get this kind of uh, pocket. Inside, it's semi-rigid, so this is not soft. This is semi-rigid. This is kind of like a hard um, product. It's got five connector points, two on each side, plus one front and back to stop that kind of vertical, that, that forward and back motion. 100% uh, waterproof again, Hyperlin, um, really cool cam belt, cam, cam buckles here to stop it from, yeah, it's a really secure system. It's going to stay there on the bike even, um, even with really hardcore use. That's it, it's got some of those things there, those things there are cable management system so you can actually tie it up. And I've left it square here, so what you can do, just cut it off and melt it, and then you can custom make it for your bike if you don't have things flapping around. Um, there's enough there's enough webbing there to do that. It's 600 de webbing, so just cut it off with a very, very sharp pair of scissors, grab your lighter and melt the end so it doesn't fray, you're good to go. And pat it down so you can get it through the cam belt. Moving on, tool roll. This is like the third or fourth iteration. I've actually got one here, I'm using it. Um, I use it as well for my tools and stuff. Uh, this is a prototype this one that I'm using the final one is the one that you see on the screen here what you wanted um, was a magnetic area and uh, I made this removable this little magnetic area and you can remove this and move it to wherever you want the magnetic point is so you can put your screws and bolts and stuff and not lose anything it's a huge working surface I've got a huge working surface everywhere here um, these two flaps are to hold in larger tools and there's an open gap here so you can put your tire irons through You've got four pencil cases, one pencil case on the end, you can actually mesh, you can actually see into it. Um, one cool thing with this modular system is that you can build your own tool case. So even if you only want two, you only need two, you just leave the other two somewhere else at home or something. Uh, put something else in it, use it in, in a different part of the bike or wherever. Uh, and you can put one for tire, tire stuff, one for uh, maintenance, one for... Um, something like for the camping gear so if you break a tent pole or something or blow up mattress or something you can put all that stuff there uh, in each one of those and cup, like, make it all nice and clean so it doesn't rub against each other and destroy that's what happens here it moves around it just starts destroying self-destructs each other so it's good to split everything up plenty of webbing here for um, any kind of tools lots of space quite versatile product this uh, it's got a G hook on one side a, a massive carry handle real strong carry handle and um, yeah just a rubber logo there um, again uh, it's, it's called Dura 1000D ballistic nylon so it's strong it's strongest one of the strongest called Duras you can get um, tough stuff ballistic stuff military grade um, yeah moving on we've got again a handlebar bag this goes between so if you're riding um, it goes in between the handlebars the pre-sample the actual lids will attach but um, uh, it's about that's the size you're talking about um, it, it goes on to the handlebars so if you're not a tank bag guy or you don't need a tank bag for that ride throw this on and um, it'll protect it's padded and um, it's reinforced with um, PE so it's semi rigid you can remove it as well so it can mold to your handlebar much better uh, waterproof called your 1000D nylon ballistic stuff and uh, YKK zippers and all that good stuff so yeah uh, one cool thing about this I like uh, the idea that I like is you can actually remove the lid of it so you can put your highway card or some kind of payment card in here um, and so when you go up to a toll booth or even to Macca's, MacD's drive through I mean or somewhere I don't know and um, you can actually just rip the top part off just the lid this lid part um, lean over pay it's pay with the card up here um, and it's, like, it's called um, your yeah, pay wave we call it PayWave, it's just like this um, yeah, PayWave um, and yeah you can pay it, keep your gloves on and you put the lid back on onto the handlebar bag and off you go. You don't need to take your gloves off, you don't need to fumble around for your wallet, you don't need to do all that stuff. You just go pay, kick and pl click and pay, um, Velcro it back on and you're off. So that's it, um, that's uh, got a few inside, it's got a nice, it's got a carry handle, man bag kind of styles, it fits to most handlebars, uh, YKK zippers and yeah, red interior, it's got a, a clear card case here, it's got another um, high density mesh front there, place for the pen, another pocket in the lid, very cool, very good quality and it's got, um, it's got uh, on the top here, it's got a bit of 
It's got a bit of moly so you can put your um, put something add something on there like a phone connector or something like that. Next is a indicator protection for the GS. This is um, what happens is um, when you're driving along, a lot of stones come up and hit the indication protector. And when it hits that, it makes the, in the next picture. You can see this is a friend on the right. This is a friend he broke his. Um, I put this on after. Obviously, if he did have this um, protector on before, he would have not had to pay 127 New Zealand dollars, which is about I don't know 90 to 100 euros um, to replace this. It's stainless steel and it's powder coated black. Uh, and basically you just need those, these two, you undo the screw here, put it on, slide it on and screw it back up and it's good to go. Uh, pretty quick installation, quite important and might save you a lot of money. Also coming out this Friday, pre-sale. Side stand extension, <coughs> a must have for basically every bike, it will enlarge your foot print on the side stand so your bike doesn't fall over in soft mud, grass or sand. This is for the GS Adventure 1200. I do have um, other products ready to go for different shapes. If you see down the bottom here, there's A, B, C, and D. They're all different. I do have them, and they are ready to go, but I need to test them one more time. Uh, they do work, but I just have to test them. I want to see them physically myself on the bike uh, and make sure that they work. That's the uh, side stand extension, also shipping, or also going on pre-sale this Friday for Black Friday, 20% off. Uh, manifold, exhaust manifold protection. Actually, now uh, it's got like two, two scrap, um, bent up parts here and that's so you can put your boot on there and scrape off all the mud on the bottom of your boot. I drove a lot in Africa and um, the mud sticks to your boot and when the mud sticks to your boot, A, it's heavy and um, it's hard to, to remove. Uh, and it's hard to pick up your bike if you fall over, if you've got mud on your boots, you keep slipping over yourself. So I put these on here to scrape it off. Um, pretty cool. Very important, stainless steel and uh, aluminium anodized. This is not anodized black, it'll be black. This is just raw, raw metal um, aluminium at the moment, uh, prototype. Uh, then on the next we've got exhaust manifold protection. These are these two things. Um, they are critical if you want to keep your manifold um, dent free and um, non holish um, So these protect for, from flying stones from the bike and it will stop um, kind of like those dents coming uh, into uh, or holes even. Uh, they're made from stainless steel and it's uh, flexible so it'll, it'll curve to the, to the bike that you have, to the manifold uh, and it attaches with four hose pipes, stainless steel as well. Those are those that are also um, very important, very critical product if you want to keep your bike, uh, yeah, dent free. Let's move on. So that's another picture where you get four hose clamps, the stainless steel and two, um, two of these which are, yeah, two of these which are the actual protection parts. Next is Hangry Pouch. Hangry Pouch is, the name comes from um, hangry, um, when you're hungry because you're angry or you're angry because you're hungry. Um, the, a good place to put little snacks and stuff, they actually fit in the cockpit. So you can reach it if you're driving, they sit in the cockpit area of the GS1250, um, just on the wing, wing fairing there. Um, good place to put, it's a good place to put something um, small, like cable adapters, cables, um, all this kind of stuff or food if, if, if the, the missus is on the bike and she gets a bit angry, hangry, just grab a Snickers, throw it out, throw it in there and um, that'll sort that problem out. Very practical, trust me, very practical to have something ready at all times. Uh, Cordura, um, thousand D ballistic nylon, uh, also YKK zippers and all that good stuff, um, pipeline details and stuff. So very cool, very um, handy little pouch there this Friday. You've got frame, bar, uh, frame bags for the GS. <clears throat> As you see on the left, it, they sit on the side of the bike, just above your knees, and your knees will be above this, where, where the, the, his hand is, um, and a uh, good place to put um, your lunch in this case, but also lots of other stuff. Uh, it's padded and it's reinforced on the back. So it is nylon, also 1000D ballistic cordial nylon, so yeah, really good quality materials. 
uh, it's yellow, uh, red inside. Perfect for storing, kind of like, yeah, perfect for storing um, those odds and ends that you want to keep out of the way, but also very close to you. Um, yeah, that's um, that's the frame bag. Uh, I also made it removable at the top here. There's a um, Duraflex buckle. This Duraflex buckle is so uh, when you want to clean your bike, you can actually take this part, this bag off very quickly. You don't have to mess around with um, too many Velcro straps and stuff, or take off the seat and stuff. When you clean your bike, it's all, it's good to clean your bike because then you can see um, cracks in the frame or some problems with your issue, issues with your bike. So I made this a bit easier. So when you, you know, for the guys that like to keep their bikes really pristine, um, this is a good um, a good addition. Makes make might make your life easier and save you five minutes every day or every time you clean your bike. Uh, the next product is the Crash Bar bag for the 1250, the new 1250GS. Uh, the upper crash bar, bar, the upper crash bar on the adventure version is shaped like this, actually shaped like this, and it's two, two left and right. So we've got left and right. So these are waterproof because you're a 12, uh, uh, 1000 T ballistic nylon um, with white candy, candy zippers and all that good stuff. Again, all the same material, all high quality materials. We don't compromise on that, and that sits there, perfect for like rain gear or bike covers or some others they are waterproof this material is like waterproof but the seams are not and to make it waterproof what I've done is added in two red waterproof bags these two waterproof bags will keep it dry your stuff dry in there so you don't have to take it off or worry about it you don't get, it doesn't get moldy or anything like that um, very cool they come with the set so you get four pieces in the set I've also made it a bit easier you see here it's kind of like a cinch down system because um, we want people to put, um, we can put stuff in there, we want it easy to and accessible, so you just put it around, cinch it down, and it's, um, yeah, you can get a really good tight fit, which is really cool. That's the GS, that's also um, this Friday launching. Um, that's, yeah, then we've got um, dry bags. These are really practical stuff. These are real practical, the um, 20 liter and a 10 liter. I've also got an 8 liter, but we won't be selling that. We only sell that with the last product, the, the crash bar bags. Um, these are these are really practical, good for isolating your stinky stuff like petrols and stuff in the bag. So I put my gas bottles and stuff in here, or my shoes or something that stinks or stinks a lot. So I don't want cross contamination between clean and dirty. So I put them in here, and then I put this into the panniers, and then, and then everything stays uh, clean basically. Um, that's their basic dry bags, high quality material. It's got high pin top. Hyperlin details, uh, it's welded as well, high frequency welded, everything, so it's waterproof and also it's got Duraflex buckles, so the family buckles, good quality buckles, these buckles will not um, break that easily, it's plastic so it will break one day if you give it enough, if you give it enough force, but yeah, they, they are the top of the line. Travel cubes, these are, I'm actually using them now, um, traveling, uh, this is I counted them before. I, this is the medium here, um, and it's got, as you see, it's double. You can actually, you can actually make this uh, make this smaller uh, and compact everything. I can get nine shirts in here uh, easily. I think you can probably get about ten even shirts. Way more than you need. You don't need eleven shirts if you're going travelling. You should hopefully do a bit more washing more often than that. Um, and i also got the, the double one, it's actually huge, it's huge, this one is good for jackets and um, also there's six pairs of pants in here, six pairs of pants, it's a lot of pants, I mean, yeah, you don't want that many pants on a motorcycle because it just, cause it just weighs, but um, it's, it's ample room and you can even uh, extend it further, good quality materials as well, uh, mesh, 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 so it's uh, keep, keep um, aerated. Um, and also let air out so they're compact. You also put a shoe bag in there if you put your flip flops when you get to your campsite after riding. You put I mean, you get your flip flops out or your sport shoes for, for hiking. You don't want to, this, this dirt to get from the shoes to go through all your other clothes. And I've also got a laundry bag in there um, for all your dirty clothes. Um, also to keep it nicely organized, uh, clean and clean and dirty stuff separated. And um, yeah, that's the travel cubes. <coughs> Um, last but not least is the light, uh, the towel light bags. These are just small little products that um, fit above the lights of a GS, GS Adventure. Um, uh, reinforced, um, 
reinforced Cordura 1000D. Um, really good little products that um, protect, um, they've got uh, foam padding so they protect the, the, the contents. Um, YKK zippers and kind of hidden the other way as well. So like a nice little secret place, um, a dead space that's not getting used. You can use this space here. Um, always good to have an extra pocket to put stuff in. That's um, So yeah, that's the range that um, we, we worked on together uh, with over the last couple of months. Um, thanks a lot for your help. And um, yeah, this as I said, this Friday, um, we're gonna press, we're gonna, we're gonna launch these products um, and put them online uh, for the first time. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna be on probably the 26th, they're gonna launch, uh, which is in a couple of days. Uh, we only have one sale per year, and that's this week. Um, so it's gonna be 20% off, what, 30% off some of these products. Um, most of it's free shipping as well, so it's a really good deal. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's all the products that we, we worked on together. Uh, they look so simple at the end of it, right? It looks so simple. and. You know, if I took this and I basically made a clone from it, it would take 10 minutes, but um, we start from scratch, we started from scratch on most of these. And um, every time I thought I could, I finished, I sent an email out and asked you guys, and you guys had way more ideas that I could put in. So I put those in and this is what we came up with. Uh, yeah, so that's this week, we're going to launch these products. So check out your, like look out in your inbox for that launch email. You may have already got emails, I don't know. Uh, and uh, yeah, and next week we'll start again with some new products, some hard products, um, and then going into tank bag, looking into tank bag design, foot peg design, and some electronics. Um, I've actually got a really good th thing coming up, um, but I'll keep that secret until, um, yeah, I'll keep that secret until um, the opportunity comes up. We're doing something really cool. Uh, no one else in the world has it yet, so um, we'll be the first. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, thanks for joining along and thanks a lot for your help as well. Um, really like this feedback loop that we've got going. Uh, it's really fun. It's a, it's really good. Um, I, I work alone and um, and it's really good to have the army of brains out there, an army of real writers that know what they're doing and um, they've got good opinions and good ideas that we yeah we can integrate into the product. So. Thanks a lot and uh, yeah, see you soon.